This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of Bye Bye Brain, which is available in the marketplace for $1.99. There's also a light version of the game available, which is free, but it has a bit shorter gameplay. Otherwise, it's almost identical, and I'll actually show you the free version in a bit, and it's exactly the same, basically. It just doesn't last as long. So here's Bye Bye Brain, and it's got some really great visuals and some great music going on in the background. And you also notice that it has some tilt controls here for affecting the camera angles. That's a really nice touch, and it's a tower defense game, but it's based around zombies. And so you have characters like these, which you can read some things about while it loads. Like this is the most bang. This is the this is the most basic one, the spanker, which just hits zombies with a paddle and he hits really fast and he costs ten dollars to buy and then you can place him anywhere there. He has a limited range though, so you have to plan accordingly. And here's my current game that I have going. As you can see, I kind of created a path for the zombies to go through, and I actually have a flamethrower guy up there, shooting some flamethrowers at them. So the graphics are really cool. It has that stylish cartoon look to it, but it's still a lot of fun. And as you can see, you can place more down there and have them attack. And these zombies already broke through the gate here, and so they're already through. You don't want to let them through, but I wasn't able to stop all of these. So I lost there because too many zombies got in, and I got a score there, and I got to level 18. And you can insert a name so that you can appear in the global scores here. And then you can return to the main menu and play another game. So it's actually really fun and pretty challenging thanks to the variety of the characters that they have. Like that flamethrower one. And they also have one that throws some Kentucky Fried Chicken at him. And guns people that shoot. And there's also a little Brainiac one that kind of zaps them with his mind. There's two different gameplay modes, Endless and Normal. And some different difficulties too. So it actually has some decent lasting value. And it also has a story here. Basically, radiation from cell phone towers created zombies out of people, and you're a select crowd that didn't succumb to this radiation, and you're trying to survive at this one little hotel courtroom, and the zombies will start pouring in, and you gotta defend yourself. So there's not much else to the game, it's just a tower defense game. But it is really fun, actually, because of the nice graphics and pretty addicting gameplay. Like, you can force them to go through a path based on where you place your characters here. And the variation of enemies also is really challenging. And each enemy that you kill, you get cash up there in the top left, which lets you buy some of the characters down here. Like these were the characters that I was talking about, the that guy, he's $25 and he throws food at them so that the zombies will stay in one spot for a little while. And then you can beat them senseless until they die. Fun, right? <laughs> There's also the gunshot guy, he shoots, and flamethrower, and then that's the nerd there one that zaps them with his mind.
so overall, this is a really cool game with some amazing visuals in it. So if you're a fan of tower defense games, you can pick this game up in the marketplace for $1.99. However, you can also pick up the free version of the game for free. It's just called Bye Bye Brain Light. And it's basically exactly identical. It'll just go Indeed, through mate. less hordes of enemies so it doesn't last as long. Indeed, but otherwise, mate. it's basically the same game. So, find Bye Bye Brain in the marketplace for $1.99 or for free. Nah. Subscribe to WM Power Users for all the latest reviews.